Welcome to the Behind the Art Inspiration podcast. In this special edition, uh, and we're going to delve into the creative processes and stories of 14 artists from around the world. In these episodes, we go behind the scenes with artists who are part of the International Online Art Collective, learning about their inspiration, challenges, and techniques while collaborating on our Chain Reaction project. Beginning with one single piece, each piece of art informs the next, provoking a chain reaction of other artworks until we have created a total of 100 works assembled into one big multimedia installation. In this episode, we have the pleasure of interviewing artist Morrison Polkinghorn. Right, did I say that correctly? Yeah. Who hails from, where are you hailing from these days, Morrison? Uh, well, I, I'm back in Australia, living back in Australia at the moment. So, yeah, I'm in a small town. Currently today, I'm in a small town called Pinaru. I'm working in an art project. It's a, a three-year mental health research. So it's all about, you know, people say art's good for mental health. There's no data. This is one of the first projects in the world to get the data for that, so it's, it's exciting. But I'm living 15 minutes drive in another state, which is a half hour time zone difference as well. So here in Australia at the moment. Okay, and I'm your host, Caroline Carp. I'm excited to bring you this episode for my DC studio. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, and join us as we go behind the art and discover the fascinating world of Morrison. So, Morrison. <laughs> Hey. Tell us about, so I just got finished reacting to your piece. Yeah, yeah. In round, so that was round number six. You sent me your heartbeat. And I said, <laughs> I said, thank you for the Valentine because it was. It was very on Valentine's Day. Yeah. So that was my, that was my Valentine. And I actually jumped off with that because you know I was in the classroom and worked it into my study but talk to me so now I get to learn about your heartbeat so, tell yeah. me so tell this, this is round six wasn't it so mm -hmm. I'd, I'd basically moved from Cambodia back to Australia or almost two years ago and the artwork that I love to do, which was round five, round six, and hopefully round seven, that's the artwork I do with the lotus stalk, with the lotus ink, and I do these dot, 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 dot. So coming back to Australia, because of COVID, I could not get the lotus stalk. I could not do my art that I love that's in my heart. So I've been trying to develop a new style of art so these first round, one, two, three, four, was myself trying to develop a new art technique with the reaction of the artwork that I had to follow within the chain reaction. Yeah. So um, also the stress of having to leave my business, um, close the business, close my retirement, close my art career, all of that, which was all set up in Cambodia, which is where I was planning to retire and just be an artist, all of that was pulled away because of COVID. And I had to come back to Australia with this much money, not much in the book work for the Australian government to allow me to do this or that. So I've had huge pains in my stomach like for like a year and a half. I've had so many medical tests. There's nothing wrong. It just comes down to stress mm. of not being able to do. I, I totally accept life. I'm happy with life. Mm -hmm. You know, I put a smile on and I'm happy, I'm joyful, but my body is like, oh my gosh, this is not what I, what I really, really want to do. So um, when I received the artwork before me, my first thing was, oh, it's a great big heart. It was this great big red heart. And I went, I said, oh, oh, I've just had a few ECGs. I'm going to do my heartbeat in uh -huh. the artwork, style, the technique that I've, I, I 
I like to do, which is the lotus door dot 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 impressions, which I count them. I love to do that. Um, so I did actually get back to Cambodia and do that work. Wow. So, yeah. So like it's original it's Morrison. That, it's that it's that heartbeat. <laughs> it's that love. Mm -hmm. It's the love of being back in Cambodia to do that artwork and. Um, so a happy Valentine's to you, Caroline. Thank it was you. there. <laughs> and that's the, <laughs> that's the under, work. it's the underpinning of my work, but of course, uh at the end of the work, I don't think you've seen it, uh, is um mm. it's it turned into repetition of sale loads. <laughs> you know, yeah, your repetition. My book is repetition, isn't it? Yes. So yeah. uh it, it it was, but it did have an, a heart in it at some point, like, but yeah, like a kid's yeah. heart, uh, kid, a child's heart. Um, so um, I don't know if you know, but my background is weaving, so yeah. I would yeah. weave braids, narrow braids, for thirty years of my life, and there is a repetition in that. Every so far, every centimeter, every inch, you have to repeat what you've done. In uh, for a hand weaving, so it, there is that repetition, and that repetition creates the overall picture. Right. So, in one sense, it is. In one sense, it is really boring, because sometimes with the weaving, I could sit there for a month doing the exact same thing every inch, every inch. But at the end of the day, I have all this braid that goes to a client that's absolutely stunning and handmade. Right. Like my artwork, it's that repetition of that dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Shall I continue? So how um, do you get it? Um, where I'm looking at one right behind you. How do you get it where it's uh, faded into like the really rich? Have you ever done potato stamps? Uh-huh. Okay. So when you cut a potato and if you go ink, stamp, ink, stamp, yeah, yeah, yeah. ink, stamp, it's all the one tone, but if you ink once and stamp 20 times, yeah. the ink dissipates off the potato. That's what I do here. So Same the dark way. line is the initial inking, and then I just get going until I want to uh, make another dark initial mm -hmm. inking again. And it's that combination of the that initial inking how much ink is on the stalk. Mm -hmm. So I, I think the longest stamp I've done is about 140 without inking a second time. So mm -hmm. it does fade into nothingness. But when I'm doing mountains and rivers and things and I can get the clouds happening with that minute amount of ink on the stalk. Now, I, so, was, I, I was in the Google Doc kind of looking at what you have in there so far. And I saw that you were making ink out of soursop. Wow. Yeah, do you know soursop? The only reason I know it is because I was reading a book to my early childhood class and they were talking about soursop. And I looked at them and I was like, what is soursop? So we looked it up. And so that's why I, I knew what it was. Yeah. <laughs> I never knew soursop until I moved back to Australia. So it is a local. Um, the green plant looks like clover, but then once a year the, the stalk pops up and this really bright yellow, like the sunflowers behind you, that kind of yellow. Like a daffodil. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, minute though. It's because it's smaller than your finger. So basically I would pick those flowers, put them into water, and let them seep for a week. Uh, I do have some that I, I let seep for about a year, and it's this really rich golden colour, kind of like treacle. So I'm using uh, my, my first round, I used that in my um, my work, so that sour sop, yellow ink and wash, and some of the lotus ink that I make, because the lotus ink I, I make, that takes me a year to make the ink as well, which... I can't make in Australia because I can't get lotus, but um, I would make that ink when I'm back in Cambodia. I I do have about five years of lotus ink 
stored at the moment, which I'm happy about, but yeah. yeah it's fascinating. I like it when we're in your studio <laughs> and you're showing me all your potions. I'm missing that part of it. <laughs> I'm missing my studio too, because at the moment it's, it, yeah, my studio will be the Sunday school because my home is now a church. And so the Sunday school is slowly becoming my studio. So I do have some of my magic potions in the Sunday school, but um that very first work was like, I want to do this with you guys. I want to do this chain reaction, but I can't produce any work. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I, I received the painting, which was a, of a hedgehog. And I went, I've never seen a hedgehog in my life. And I went, oh, I know. I'll just do a yellow background. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I've got some yellow here from the, the sour sock. So I actually got the stalk of the sour sock soak them in the yellow ink and pop them on the mm -hmm. on, on on the painting and once they dried I lifted them off to reveal the the marks on there and the hedgehog I did with um my lotus ink. Mm -hmm. So and it's it's the, the yeah. phases of well now up to round six have been like I don't know what to do with my life. I've lost this. I've lost my retirement. I've lost. I've lost my art career. I can't get Lotus. Uh, what am I going to do? So it's been quite a uh, yeah, very emotional journey. So when I started with this, I couldn't produce my art. But going back to Cambodia, I can produce my art for the the chain reaction now. So I'm really excited. How long were you in Cambodia? Like I was only two. Um, I lived there for about eight years, then back here for two, and then I only went back for two weeks. So I'll be back later in the year at some stage. So mm -hmm. I set my, I got myself a studio for those two weeks, and I worked so much, my fingers went numb. I was getting RSI in here, but I produced some. I think some of my best work. Oh wow! Which are still rolled up. I haven't unrolled them yet from coming back. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell us so tell me about or tell us about um, the videos that you've been making because actually the videos are art in themselves wow oh, what videos so you're talking about the Instagram reels or the yeah no I'm, um, I'm talking about I'm talking like I'm going back to the soursop flower okay so um, when I first came back to Australia I wanted to do my art, but I couldn't produce any art and um, I didn't even know where we were going to live. Um, I was staying at my folks for a month and we had to find a place to live. So it was really like such an emotional time. And the only thing that kept me going was to do a, a series of videos of a count. So I did video number one where I just sat there and went, one. I remember and then that. Next day I did two. <laughs> the third one was three. <laughs> did you what? How high did you count to? I was planning a year, but I did like a hundred each. <laughs> I got kind of really bored of it, and, and we bought a church to move to, and I had no time to continue. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I have a fascination of numbers, not so much mathematics but I have a fascination of I'm studying ancient Mayan uh, numeral writing at the moment and mm. um, uh, I love to write in different fonts the numbers as my artwork as well which I it was the second or the third one I did for the chain reaction mm -hmm. I was fifth within that group and so I wrote Cambodian number five. Yes, yes, I, I remember. I wrote zero to three, four, five in, in, in Cambodian, Cambodian Thai. So, and I did that work with a feather brush. So I made the feather brush and the feather was one that I picked up in Angkor Wat, which is a thousand year old Cambodian temple um, in, in Cambodia, the world's biggest religious building. Mm. So, but you were asking about the video. So there was that crazy little video of me counting. Um, I, I love editing. I love, you know, some of that, that trick photography. Mm -hmm. um, I love Zoom, macro Zoom. I love, I love doing that. I love it. 
Yeah. I'm just noticing that the, the moon in this painting and looks like it's really illuminated, doesn't it? It is. <laughs> when did you do that one? Uh, I did that one. So I'm in my DC studio and I did that one in the last time I was here. And I'm trying to remember the last time I was here, maybe November. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's called the raft up. Yeah. The what? Sorry. The raft up, like the boats are raft rafted up. up. Mm -hmm. Uh okay. Yep. Yeah. So we're we're coming up to the last round, aren't we? With the chain reaction, the seventh round. Yes, Ger uh, Greta will begin the round, and. and you eventually do it, and then I'm following you. Oh, good. Okay, because it was the other way around first. Yeah. This time. Yeah. Well, that'll be interesting. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Well, Morris Morrison, where can people find out about you and your artwork? Um, my my surname is rather long, so the website Morrison P dot com will take you to morrisonpolkinghorn dot com or Instagram or with the International Online Art Collective. Did that sound right? <laughs> I love these long words. <laughs> and then uh in the show notes I'll also put all the information about our chain reaction project where people can find that. And uh yeah. I wanted to thank everybody for coming and watching and for you joining me. It's rather late for me here in the States, by the way, but I know yeah. it's just the perfect time for you. <laughs> yeah. You know, when we have those meetings, it's like, oh, I know. sometimes it's like two, three hours before I normally have yeah. my alarm. It's like, yeah. eh, eh. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. And being an insomniac, <laughs> man, it's just can't sometimes, but anyway. Uh, well, thank you so much, everybody out there for watching us. This is, is this the second or third? This is the third podcast I've done with you, Morrison. I think it is. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. always a pleasure. And with, and with the uh, chain reaction, this is the first again or the, this done is a couple the of first, this is okay, the first yeah. chain reaction, but yeah. you've been on the podcast before NFT. Yeah. Remember? Remember our fascination with NFTs? <laughs> it comes and goes. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yeah. But listen, so when were... I get my studio up and going, we'll have to do something there as well. So Yes. And where I'm living, um, I'm talking with local council about turning the local um, courthouse, which is now not a courthouse, an old uh -huh. wooden building, into a gallery, a local community gallery. So. That's exciting, but hey. Oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Too, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not slacking off. I'm just no. can't, can't do my artwork here. You're just busy with life. Yeah. But who isn't? Right, right. Yeah. Gorgeous talking to you again. No, nice. it is very nice. And you go, you go to bed or sleep somewhere, whatever. <laughs> And I, I want to thank everybody for watching us. Uh, look in the show notes for information about Chain Reaction and to learn more about Morrison and his art and the other 14 artists that are part of this collaboration. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everybody. I'm going to sign out here.